Hi and welcome to this video. When I researched this, I wanted to know what are the concepts in the religions of the world for the body. So is it more a profane thing? Is it a sacral thing? Because today it is more an individual concept. So you dress and shape your body according to how you want to be seen and what you feel is your identity. But that hasn't always been the case for everyone. So I looked at arts and architecture to answer my questions. This video, of course, only touches on those contexts. If you want a follow-up, please let me know and give me your feedback, because the more people want that, of course, the more likely it is for me to produce one. For now, I just want you to have a good time with this one. The human body plays an important role for the arts of several cultures. Hereby mankind tries to locate itself within its environment. Several of the oldest found cult objects are worshipping the fertility of the woman's body. In places all around the world, including Europe and Asia, archaeologists found such figures. With the beginning of settlements, notions of the divine are being formed that included specific functions. As with this corn deity by the Maya, the forces of nature should be tamed and addressable. Praise and sacrifice should ensure favorable gods. In Hindu tradition, the human body can mirror sensual pleasures as seen here with this Indian relief of a wine goddess. As well, the notion of reproduction in endless circles can be symbolized here. In Buddhist tradition, there is not only the famous depiction of a well-nurtured Buddha, but also that of his lean body during the years before his enlightenment and during his strict ascesis. In Christian tradition, on the other hand, the depiction of the human body serves both. The proof of Christ's holiness and that of his human nature at the same time. How can you imagine that? Following Christian belief, Jesus of Nazareth is born as a human child in blood and flesh. Before and during his brutal crucifixion, he suffered unbearable pain. In this altarpiece by the German Renaissance artist Matthias Grünewald, for example, the sight of Christ's body inflicts pain on the beholder. The studded hands are twisted in pain, and the feet, dripping with blood, are deformed in a way that his suffering is immediately comprehended. Because as any other human, the Son of God suffered from his vulnerable body. The body itself thereby becomes a link, a connection between humankind and God. Whilst looking at Christ's body in pain, the believer should empathize and feel consoled. At the same time, his body is not only an indicator for his human nature, but the stigmata that he got from his torture identify him as superhuman. In this painting by the Italian Baroque artist Caravaggio, the Apostle Thomas, intended to be acting in place of all humankind, assures himself if this is indeed the risen Christ. In Eastern Orthodox Church, you see many depictions that look like this or similar. The left eye here seems to look past us, which is due to the following reason. On the one hand, the glance of the Son of God is looking into the present, but on the other hand, he is looking beyond this world. He is unreachable and therefore divine. But sometimes the divine seems to be absent when actually it is not. In the landscapes of the German romanticists Caspar David Friedrich, it should be sensed rather than seen. If you take a closer look, you spot little figures being captured within a vast and stunning nature surrounding them. In addition to that, architectural structures like churches or ruins of monasteries are hinting at religion seen as an institution. Meanwhile, the shepherd here seems to have his very own godly experience within the landscape he is contemplating. In a different way, the ornaments of Islamic art are telling us about the glory of God. Due to the religious prohibition of images, the arabesques in architecture, tiles and calligraphies are celebrating the divine. 
As you see, there are several ways of making religious notions and sentiments sensible. The human body thereby connects the worldly and the transcendent. This is the case even if it is not depicted. For more videos and information, click the link in the info box.